What's cracking, YouTube? It's your boy, Professor Crypto. Got another hot crypto class for you guys today. This one's on fire. You guys already know anything we bring on the channel. It's got the heat, got the potential, and it definitely should be watched. This one is so different, guys. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Class is now in session. Eureka! This one is called BTCST. Guys, we've already done two videos on BTCST. This is the third video, guys, and in today's video, we have some really exciting news before we jump into the meat and potatoes of this one guys i want to go over a little bit of a background on btc st for anyone who doesn't remember this platform guys is a pioneered hash rate back tokenization they're the first to bring real bitcoin to DeFi. they're also the first to launch hash rate back synthetic assets protocol such as tau that can rebase in a real world environment unlike nearly all other virtual assets guys btc st is a collateral backed asset Standard hash rate group, the community organizers, pioneered issuing hash rate back assets, in this case Bitcoin, directly onto a DeFi platform. As a result, BTCST provides the market with premium collateral to further expand the DeFi ecosystem. Since its launch in early January, guys, the community led project has also enabled its holders to participate in the governance process, such as voting on upgrades in the decentralized app itself. The BTCST decentralized app was deployed on to the Binance Smart Chain because it provides a lower cost user experience without sacrificing transparency that miners demand. The app uses Binance BTC BTCB to regularly distribute profits so that even small amounts of BTC can be withdrawn, which is not possible with the native Bitcoin chain. Standard Hash Rate Group is intended to be an open association where we together provide a service to all eligible miners to tokenize their hash rate. Their goal essentially, guys, is to be the grayscale. Trust for Bitcoin mining hash rate. In a few years, they aim to be working with all major miners and mining facilities around the world so they can bring meaningful liquidity to anyone, including DeFi holders who want exposure to the rapidly growing industry. In short, guys, BTC ST aims to bridge the Bitcoin mining world to the DeFi world. When we look at some of the problems that this company solves, guys, they're creating a hash rate backed synthetic asset that can be used as a collateral in DeFi apps. What is the team's background, you might be wondering? Some of the largest largest veteran miners on the planet. They explain here guys that they are the bridge between Bitcoin hash rate assets and the DeFi world. Each BTC ST is collateralized with 0.1 TH per second of Bitcoin's mining power. By staking BTC STs, token holders are entitled to Bitcoin rewards and more. BTC ST brings exchange grade liquidity to hash rate assets guys so that market participants can easily enter and exit mining exposure in any size and at any time. Their transparent governance is also something to know guys they're governed transparently as a decentralized autonomous organization token holders including their minor members and the broader token community will collectively decide on material issues of the project with all proposals votes and outcomes preserved and disclosed on chain moving on guys the tau which is a protocol to synthesize the proof of work assets this is a protocol to synthesize proof of work cryptocurrencies by synthesizing the mining process the T protocol creates synthetic proof of work cryptocurrencies with provable value support and strong mechanisms to restore price pegs. This is the highlight of today's video, guys. It is Tau Sage, and it can be found, guys, on BTCST's app slash NFT. Essentially, how it works, guys, you can type in any NFT ID from 1 to 10,000, and there's going to be a verification page that comes up. Platform and consumer protection since Tau Sage safeguards users from duplicate NFTs. They've also also recently announced guys that Tau Sage has joined the Binance MVP2 NFT program which BSC has shared across their Twitter as well. It's right here guys and it was published on May 27th 2021. The tweet reads BTCST T Sage joins the Binance chain most valuable builder MVP2 program. TSH is a key NFT infrastructure provider where platforms and users can verify the authenticity of NFTs to safeguard the NFT authority records. The full article on this, guys, is actually on Binance.org, which is a huge name in the cryptocurrency industry. So when we go over what they're talking about, the first round of the MVB Accelerator program was launched in February 2021 to boost the BSC ecosystem development by providing better support, funding, and exposure for developers and projects building on the Binance Smart Chain. Today, guys, they're announcing the next round with the first round of the MVB 
program behind them, they can confirm that it was a great success. After the program's official launch on February 5th, 2021, guys, they received over 650 applications and three phases. Shortlisted the final three projects, Auto Farm, Pancake Bunny, and Beefy.Finance. The community interest in the top finalist projects exploded and they became the top BSC projects with enormous community support and network activity. And again guys, they talk about the phases. There was phase one, phase two, and phase three. Phase one guys, over 650 projects in DeFi, NFT gaming, infrastructure, options, lending, and more. As for phase two guys, that was March 8th to the 19th. They had top eight projects like Auto Farm, Pancake Bunny, BSCX, Kebab, Finance, Sphinx, Beefy Finance, B Dollar, and NFT Box. The top three finalists, guys, was Auto Farm, Pancake Bunny, and Beefy.Finance. Sliding back over to BTCST's Medium page, guys, they put the announcement here announcing BTCST's implementation of Tau, a protocol to synthesize proof of work assets. This, again, guys, it was released a couple months ago in March on the 19th. They go over exactly what it is, explaining that it was created by Mr. Tim Swanson in collaboration with the Standard Hash Rate Group. Tim Swanson is the founder and director of research at Post Oak Labs and the head of marketing intelligence at Clearmatics. They then explain that proof-of-work cryptocurrencies are storing significant amounts of value. At this moment, the market capitalization of Bitcoin alone is 1 trillion. Most proof-of-work blockchains, however, have a limited support for DeFi. A gap, therefore, exists between DeFi as a set of nonsense financial protocols and proof-of-work assets as the primary value stores for cryptocurrencies. They also explain a little bit about BTCST itself, guys, which we have gone over in previous videos. I would encourage you to check that out if it's something that you're still interested in and will require a little more information on of course guys tau also has its own white paper this is it here guys a full five pages long which definitely should be included in your due diligence journey when investigating this platform they start off by going over an abstract followed by a very detailed introduction explaining generally proof of work and cryptocurrencies involved in that. Moving on, they talk about fragility in the current designs of this. Again, addressing how they're going to fix it. The T protocol is then gone over, which again, it describes how proof of work cryptocurrencies can be reliably synthesized for further use or composition by DeFi instruments. They refer to proof of work cryptocurrencies synthesized by the T protocol and T assets. To ensure T assets have inherent value, guys, the T protocol requires consumption of hash rate during synthesis. In other words, the T protocol does not th synthesize proof of work cryptocurrencies directly. It synthesizes the mining process, which secures the value of proof of work assets in general and to restore the price pegs when the relative price is lower than one. The T protocol uses a combination of deflationary rebasing and open market purchases to improve effectiveness. They then go over the synthetic mining as well as the inflationary mining, followed by deflationary rebase and repurchases and end off the white paper with some conclusions. The T protocol uses the unique trait of hash rate tokens to secure value of T assets. It also activates a combination of synthetic mining, deflationary rebase, and open market repurchases to restore the relative price of T assets to 1.0. Because T assets have both elemental market rates and external value support, they should achieve stronger price pegs than the current generation of synthetic proof of work cryptocurrencies. This is BTC SC's community group, guys, on Telegram. Definitely encourage you to join that, guys. Check it out. Their admins are very friendly their community members can help you out with any questions you may have and it definitely should be the first step in your due diligence journey shout out to all my students i love you Group hug. shout out to the crypto class gang shout out to the lambo gang shout out to the whale gang shout out to the auto gang thank you for always your continued support guys i really appreciate it if you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to smash that like button for me drop a comment in the comment section below please remember guys we are an impartial channel so whether the opinion is negative or positive we would be more than happy to hear it with that being said guys class is now dismissed we'll see you in our next video professor crypto out. Of course.